uh, current situation right now. I'm squatting in a house that's under construction in Park City, Utah, because it is super windy and snowy outside. Could only happen to me. It only happens. <laughs> classic. This is classic. I flew into Utah this morning. I'm meeting the crew from Diamondback. Today we're gonna be taking their Ford Lightning out into the snow, doing a bunch of fun stuff. The Uber driver brought me into this complex. Nothing against him at all. He's just doing his job. He's doing a, a great job. He spoke no English, like almost no English, really poor visibility. And we went around in circles for about a half hour and you could tell he was getting really flustered and frustrated and he started trying to turn around and he was gonna get this thing stuck. I mean, we were in like a foot of snow. I shouldn't do an impression because I'll get in trouble. He's like, sorry sir, sorry sir, sorry. <laughs> and uh, long story short, I decided to let him off the hook and just say, oh, here it is. And I got out and uh, I walked over to this house that's uh, under construction so I could seek some shelter. Anyways, funny story. I think the thing to do when you're a squatter is take a shit in the kitchen. <laughs> that's that's normal, that's common practice when you're squatting in a house. I feel bad enough as it is just being in here, but oh, they have power. I'm gonna plug my phone in, I will do that. Do this? Yeah, let's do it. All right, guys, I've been rescued. <laughs> well, the crew from Diamondback, thank you guys so much. You know, I, was, I had a plan, I had a whole plan. I looked up the Utah law, I was gonna stay here for seven years. <laughs> seven years and it's mine, that's all it takes. California, it's probably like seven months. Oh, it's like a day. Yeah, like <laughs> you gotta come home every day, homeowner. You've been here for seven hours. It's yours. <laughs> oh my goodness, it is. Guys, it's like really cold out here. Like that's what is that? Can you give me like a path from that marker to? Okay. Oh wait, there's a driveway. What the farts? I'm just gonna. Whose, whose idea was this? My Glover was like, wait, you guys are go you're going camping in the lightning in Park City? I was like, yeah. yeah. Like anytime yeah. a guy who's like an expert on survival, survival <laughs> he's like, you guys are making a huge mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this the, uh, how, P how PG is your channel? <laughs> how, PG? <laughs> how PG? Is this Dude. the one that has roadhead mode? <laughs> Dude, is that a thing? So <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. No. That goes down, that converts. Let's just show the audience what you're talking about, guys. Yeah, I just suddenly, I suddenly realized how weird it got. Put that back up. This thing is pretty cool, though. Uh, and I get the opportunity to drive it right now. Jeez, Andy. <laughs> a little taller than him. Andy, grow a little, man. It's a sensitive subject. <laughs> no way you just got stuck like that. <laughs> there it is, man. It's a Toyota Corolla. Dude, one of you, like, are you, are you gonna help me? <laughs> you're, literally, you're literally stuck right now. Tire spinning, dude. It's still spinning, freely. <laughs> wow. Dude, Come on. Coming down, bro. There we go. Why'd you rent a Corolla in Park City, Utah? I thought I was gonna leave it in a parking lot last night. <laughs> then you took an Uber. Oh, no one shit. Can do it. <laughs> oh, shit. It's on you. I'm seeing the chain of events yeah, now yeah, yeah. and how it led to you having this here. I feel like I could like cut forward right through that. That's not deep. I'll back up a little more if I can. Well, deep is sort of just like a... Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's relative to the vehicle you're driving. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see this cavernous trunk. Whoa, dude. Yeah. That's... That's legit, actually. I know. That's so... Uh... And, like, it's so well... So like, I was just talking about this with Mike, but they don't have an engine in it, right? And so they could have just said, hey, we're gonna give you this empty space for stuff. But instead they like really, it's so well thought out. Like this, for one, you have drain holes, and then this thing will like drop into that and create dividers. You could fill this with beer and ice. Like, <laughs> you could fill this with beer and ice? No joke. Wow, actually, yeah, actually, that's really cool. And then you have power outlets here, like 240. Oh, yeah. This battery in here, that runs all the accessories, so. What? It's got a 131 kilowatt, like, lithium-ion battery. And they're yeah. like, we should throw a 12 volt in there. Just <laughs> yeah, why would they do that? It seems really redundant. Cool. You get everything out. Uh, just about, just, just dummy check, to make sure. They should make the hood removable so you could, like, strap something down in there. Like a paramotor. Wow. We're living in the future! The space truck! Here in Utah, we rented 
this super insane Airbnb. I mean, it's really cool. It's like everything is wood, big windows, lots of cool character to it. Well, we got some snow last night. I wonder if the lightning loses charge just overnight, like being out in the cold. It does? Oh man, such an interesting vehicle, man. Very interesting, I think you, well, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's cool. <laughs> I think yeah. it's cool, it's just like the little workarounds that you gotta figure out, you know, like the cold and charging. We're gonna go charge it right now, so we'll have a full day of, of shenanigans ahead of us. You know what, I might, just, I might just put my camera equipment back there too. Go ahead and start it up. Yeah, room. <laughs> Weird. I think we lost nine. Nine? Was that six? Exactly six? nine. Okay. Got yeah. It. You lost six. nine. So you lost nine miles overnight in the cold. Yeah. Wow, just sitting here in the cold. Yeah, the, it will. Like, we I wonder will, if as it was the battery warm up. It will. It, like, you'll get it back yeah. as as you uh, warm up. We learned that from Danny, who apparently knows everything. <laughs> He's like, yeah, you'll get it back. <laughs> it's so quiet and weird. I know, dude. <laughs> it's just weird. So 23 miles from here? Yep. What address? Did you enter? Did you enter the one I gave you? Yeah. Okay, we're good. We this got 47 miles one, But that's probably like the way the crow flies or whatever. Hold on. Max, don't look so cool, bro. Hey, Sam's I'm driving a Lightning. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. What 1905 South 300. Trying to, we want to go out to the hills. We want to get some content today. We want to play with this truck. But because we've been traveling around, you know, going to the airport and whatnot, or wherever this truck's been, I haven't been in the truck the whole time. Uh, the range is down to only 46 miles left, which I think when it was, what, half? Half was 80 miles? Yeah. Okay. So, anyways, there's no chargers around here, so we're gonna have to go to, are we gonna go to Salt Lake City? Is that yep. what we said? Yep, Salt Lake City. All right, Salt Lake City it is. So we got the lightning plugged in. In about two hours, we'll be at full charge, and then we'll be able to head up into the hills. I think we're gonna go back to Park City, Utah to uh, to hit some of the trails out there. There's a little bit more stuff to see and more stuff to do. I just drove it on the highway. It's really interesting feeling. I mean, it's super quick. It's very smooth. You can tell that it's heavy on the bottom, and it's got independent rear suspension, which is really like, it's wild feeling. It just feels weird. The whole experience feels weird. I'm a little, it's a little bit surreal. I feel like I'm in, I'm just like a giant RC car is what it is. Uh, I like it. It's interesting, but of course it's presenting a lot of these inconveniences. If we were in a gas vehicle, we'd just be going to the hills right now. But instead we got to plug in. I always thought that maybe we could plan around, easily plan around charging when you're on trips like this. Uh, but it's, it's harder than you think. It, so there is some inconvenience to it. Maybe in the future it'll get better. Uh, we went to a Walmart in Park City because that's where these chargers are and uh, they didn't have one. So we had to drive all the way to Salt Lake City to do this thing. So if you were really running on low, we'd be screwed. So something to think about. <laughs> yes. It's lazy content creation. <laughs> I'm not getting out of this truck. <laughs> Bank. And then over here we have a hill. A lovely looking creek that nobody wants to go into. Yeah, dude. Not the best. It's definitely not the best undercarriage clearance with that weird independent rear suspension. So we're getting hung up on this little mound here. We need to back out up this hill and we stopped before we committed going down this big hill just because that seems like it would have been pretty uh a big commitment you know 
It almost looks like there's a bathroom down there that we could turn around at if we had to go down. But then coming up this might be a bear. We got a lot of all the power in the world though. Yeah, that's a that's a kind of a problem. But here, I'm gonna just put it in over in off-road mode. Yep. Um, Do you need your rear diff for this? And for this, I'll lock the rear diff. Yeah. So scroll down. It's so weird that everything's on a screen. I know. Locking differential. Weird. Okay. Cool. I'll I'll get us out of here, boys. Don't you worry about a thing. Yeah. See, normally, if you had a low gear, you just let your foot off, and it would just start creeping back. Yeah. Dude, that's really annoying. We don't need to push it. I just, it just takes a little, I'm just gonna pa pack it in. It's just a huge pain to drive with fully, like, you know, fully aired up tires. And these things seem, they, the front ones didn't seem too bad, but you'd be so surprised what a huge difference just airing down makes, um, especially in snow like this. <laughs> this truck's weird, man. It's weird that we don't have a four low and it's, I mean, there's no low gear. Um, we'll, I'm gonna look around in the truck a bit more, but we have locking diff on. Um, we just aired down the tires a bit, which has helped a lot. We could probably air down even more and we'd, we'd probably just scoot around in here, no problem. But the biggest problem is our, our clearance. The independent rear suspension, just everything's real low. It's grabbing a lot of snow. And we're alone, so we just have to be kind of careful. But we're having fun, we're exploring. You guys gonna hop, are you gonna hop in and we back out to that parking lot? Yeah, we're just letting you film. Oh, gotcha, okay. So it has onboard scales, so it'll tell you how heavy your load is exactly. in the bed. That's yeah. pretty cool. The only thing is I've never found it to be like, oh yeah, that makes, that, like that's accurate. Like I've loaded yeah, some yeah. stuff and I knew what it weighed. I think it might be effed up because we leveled it. Oh yeah, yeah that, that would make sense. Yeah. That would totally make sense. And that's, that's kind of the bummer with these new trucks. It's just becoming harder and harder to modify them. Yeah, right. And then, yeah, you want to do something like this and you're bottoming out. Yeah, right. It's like, yeah. and you, I don't think there's nothing you can really do, right? With an independent rear, I don't think there's anything you can do. You can't. You could put we, portals on it. Portals? What does that mean? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I don't know if it would work on an electric truck, but so portals are like a, it's like a, a, a gear that would, that would bring it up. So you'd attach it to your hub, and it would bring it up higher. And then uh, so, so well, sorry, I guess probably opposite. It would bring everything down. So then the truck would the sit truck's higher, higher you get because the same, it, yeah. that's what they do with military Humvees. Oh. So military Humvees have they independent, low, they have independent rear suspension, oh, really? just like this truck. Yeah. But to get more clearance, they have portals. All, oh, okay, all the Humvees you. have portals. Um, dude, it's okay. I mean, dude, look at where we came from. It's crazy that like we were gonna go further down because right now. Oh, I would love to. I, I know. I, me too. I still think if we had enough, just one truck with us, like even if it was just like somebody with a winch or. Or just the ability to go get help. Yeah, right. Uh, and we aired down. Like a Jeep dude. <laughs> yeah. We could have some guy who's like up on 35s and. Dude, while you're setting up the drone, I gotta take a look at this Mercedes. Look at this thing. That is so sweet. So sick. Yo, can you take a profile photo for me with that? You know, <laughs> can you get one? You know, it's got like a nice little diesel. Nice, got it. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the dog's like, please, but please, mom, it's a dog nose. It's like, nobody can tell that we're behind him because the truck's so quiet. Get out of the way, Fluffy! <laughs> the dog trying to square up on us. Oh, she's like, oh my goodness! It worked. It worked. <laughs> it worked. An hour of success. <laughs> there's, a All right. razor, there's a razor back. Oh, it's right? okay. These things don't make any noise, it's electric. Are they, what, are the, what are those called with the back? They're, they're not razor back. Rook, yeah, Ridge bags. Ridge, Ridge bags. Yeah, yeah. All right. Bye, y'all. See, see you guys. I'm not used to people being so friendly. Uh, yeah, Washington like, sucks. Dude, yeah. I mean, Washington you, is very, very mean, cold. Yeah, it's just cold, dude. But that, that, I mean, headphones on, everyone. <laughs> it can be to your advantage if, if you just don't want to talk to, to engage. people. Oh, yeah, totally. Red sled, baby. You got the red sled. All right, so I pulled up a trail on the Onyx app uh, that looked kind of relatively flat. We're gonna do a little uh, furred lightning yes, sled sir. sledding, high speed electro sledding. Have you thought about the fact that we're gonna be the first people in human history to sled behind a furred lightning? 
probably. <laughs> and it could, I would go so far as to say we might be the first in human history to sled behind an all electric truck. Like, it's gotta be. I mean, there's no other electric trucks unless somebody's done it in a Rivian. No, I doubt it. World record, world record holders right here. No, nah, dude, you gotta sit up on the Diamondback. That's like the coolest thing about it. True. You know. Andy, you ready to rip? Okay, rock and roll! Do you know the universal signs for speed up, slow down, don't kill me? Slow down? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Righteous! Righteous! <laughs> 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 That was crazy. Yeah. I don't think you can go forward at all. Oh yeah. I feel like I could have done that. You're like, no. Oh, man. Match. How many times have you gotten Andy unstuck? What is that? What is that? A what the hell? Third man? or fourth time? Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? We're at 76 miles of range. Snow's falling. Pretty hard. We got this beautiful lightning. We're about to get towed out, right? No, it's good. You tow me out of here on that sled. That is so much fun, dude. I, that 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 looked like a blast. Dude, Robbie, you're, you're not gonna you're not gonna do it. You're like, no, I, I was paid to run the camera. I film, bro. <laughs> He's like, I gotta get back to my precious woman. Dude, smell this and, and tell me if this is alright. I don't like smelling what? things when people put things out. To me. <laughs> That's like a that, rule. Dude. Yeah. There's something weird about it. Like it just smells. Gosh, it just. You know why I don't do that? The craziest thing he stuffed that up his ass right before. <laughs> What's that smell like? It's weird. Oh, dude, it smells like a whole cow's nipple was inside the can. Dude, they don't Just do that anymore. You're actually that's illegal in Utah. Oh, it's cow's like, nipples in cans. It's a big Washington thing. <laughs> Huge thanks to the guys from Diamondback. I had such an awesome time hanging with you guys. Fantastic hang. Totally cool dudes. Awesome company, awesome product. I'm looking forward to hanging out with you guys again. And special thanks to Onyx Off-Road who helped us find the areas where we got to play. If you guys use the link in the description below, you can save 15% on Onyx, or you can just try it out for a seven day trial for free, a seven day free trial. Click those links below if you like, if you wanna check it out, it helps me out a bunch. And uh, yeah, that's about it for today's video. So thanks so much. Get some work done this week, but don't forget to live. All right, bye. Goodbye. Keeps your beer cold. It's a drinker's truck. A drinker's truck.